And you talked about Fnatic really hitting their peak right about now. They just want to be sieging as five. The Abaddon can sponge up a huge amount of damage. And ooh, silence onto the Weaver. They push oh, him back nice. with the Cogs. Mason in some serious trouble and does go down. TP in immediate ravage. They've got four. And now Night Stalker's hungry, trying to bring up the rest of the fight. There's going to be that Requiem dropped out, doing some serious damage to the Rubik. And another commit back in Abed. That's... Sonic Wave not quite doing enough. The Radiant, they are starting to drop, but Abed's in some trouble as well. Huo chasing him down, activates that shrine, but just gets blasted. They've got to play this well, though. They're just going to send out the swarm. Lincoln's popped. Now there is that darkness coming out. Bulba wants to keep fighting. They bring in Ferev, still holding the Ravage for now. The Roshan gets low. It will be picked up by the Dire, and Bulba gets the Aegis. Huge play there by the Night Stalker. Now Mason gobbles up the time lapse, will still end up going down. Ravage comes in. Uh, BKB going to be wearing thin. It's just Bulba versus the world. The Aegis does get popped in the back lines. Oh, Dubu with that stolen Requiem able to do so much damage. And now Ferev may end up getting picked here. For now, they are going to lose the Bloodseeker, trading for the Weaver, but that Roche pick is huge. Abed comes in, trying to even this out, but oh, that's unfortunate. She dumps the Sonic Wave and can't blink out, so Ajit just sitting there in siege, and they've got to stop him. They've got to keep him checked, but the silence on the co-op is going to be huge. Borrowed time comes in. Ohio trying to soak up as much health as possible, but not in a great situation here. It looks like Ohio could end up going down. They do blast apart the Abaddon, and they're chasing for more. Abed focusing down on Ajit. They get the lift onto him. Febby with that blade mail trying to defend his cores. Ajit's going to be BKB'd up, but still running low on health, running low on mana. Nice cogs by Febby. At least distracting the Dire Chorus for now. Another hook shot back in. They do end up breaking the link into the co-op. Can they turn this around? With Kyo coming back in, letting that double man silence. It's going to be huge. And the raise from the low ground takes out the co-op. And now it's a silenced up Weaver. Oh, man. Fnatic going to make a hold here. They don't want to give away their tier two for free. Roll in pretty deep, though. There is going to be EMP trying to force out the Radiant Heroes. All the mana burned up from Beastmaster. He still has one Palmovore left, but he's just going to be completely chain stunned. DC on a roll. They're all going to get magnetized, but they don't even care. They're all still alive. They take four. They're looking for Dubu here. Yeah, I mean, there's so many heroes rotating in for this Triumph Protector. It is gobbling resources left and right. They finally will find him. Overgrowth can be burned out now. Invoker TPing in. Ferev brings in some friends. They're going to be able to turn this right around, getting the kill on the Beastmaster before he has a chance to go for the Primal Roar. There is going to be some damage dumped up by the Ember Spirit here, but is it going to be enough? A Naga Siren Sleep comes through. They've got the Sand King on lock. Ferev, though, going to Burrow Strike out, and they're going to take this chance to try to go ahead and feast on the Ember Spirit. Naga Siren trying to run. QO. Baiting around, they kill off the illusions, they figure out which one's real, and oh no, Naga's Siren going down again! She's just been chain killed, that's her sixth death! Now Dubu getting some good vision, they see Kyo pushed out here, Kyo oh, man! Oh, can't lead. Now Kyo is going to have that Song of the Siren, but will he get rooted and locked down? It looks like Naga doesn't even get the chance to sing. And now Ohio burned low, killed off Pudge, trying to save his allies, but that's it. There's just no staying in this. Fnatic, they need to tap out. Radiance Almost got himself a uh, heart here. Reaver just keeping him nice and strengthy. Fortify being used, but it's looking like this Tier 3 going down. But speaking of Tier 3s, I mean, Mason's found himself an opening here. We'll see uh, how far DC... We're going to be pushing this. There will be that overgrowth. PL going to be uh, juking out of that sun strike here. Will get himself out alive, but a nice dream coil onto two. There's going to be the impale vacuum forward. Oh, Darkseer having none of this nonsense. QO now beyond godlike. Abed melting as well. There's no buybacks on DC right now. It's only 20 minutes in, but these racks are donezo. Trying to live. He might make it out. One more auto attack and super will do the job with all that new base damage coming in. Jackals will come again. KYXY going to get dropped, though. It'll be by Rise. Noe getting shackled up, and Super will try to take it down. Exorcism. Super gets the double kill on the back lines now. Rise trying to turn. X marks back in. Razor will get dropped as well. Sakata pops the Exorcism. It is a three for one trade. What a turn. And now they're looking for Rise. The Spirit Siphon. But here's the Shrapnel. They'll try to turn in Sakata. The Arcane Curse is up as well. They need a few more auto attacks. It's going to be the assassination. Is it going to do enough? He's healing back through. He might be able to live. Noe coming in. Another Spirit Siphon coming out, Sakata. He's gonna have to reach it. Can they bring him down? They need two more auto attacks. They get it. And they also get the smoke for Noi to live. Blade Fury coming out. Hester Joe getting chased down, but KYXY has no Omni Slash. He uses it, doesn't get enough done. The Healing Ward will come through. Hester Joe taking tower hits. They want this kill. Another assassinate. 747 gets the double kill. That constant pressure and fighting you were talking about, Andy. And it's hard for IGV to do that. So they're going for the the former play, which is hope that your smoke gank hits. 
Ace gonna walk into them. BKB is popped. They're gonna turn this. The global silence will come out. The man to use immediately. Guardian Greaves is down for 20 seconds. There is the lasso, but they're turning their attention elsewhere. They want in July. Noise on the other side of the fight. Now they're gonna try to slap down KYXY, and that is a lot of damage from Ace. Already one dead. Noi will kill himself onto Cicada, but look at the damage here. However, the Solar Crest is going to work, and Ace, the Spirit Siphon, Cicada finds the double kill, but the Sniper going to work, pops his own BKB. The Spirit Siphon doing so much. Somehow he's still alive. The Ghost Ship is gonna keep him tanky as well. Cicada and in July, along with Dogfights, now turning into the Sniper. His BKB is done, and Cicada finds the triple kill. Sure, they get the kill onto the Jug early on, but they did not have the lockdown nor killing potential. They want Sakata. They were looking for the lasso, but he gets Glimmer Cape in time. The Omni Slash following 747. Forced to pop the BKB. He is in a lot of trouble. He's already used the Forest Staff, the Hurricane Bike, to get out, and he's done. KYXY pops the cheese as well. The Blade Fury will come through. He will stay alive, and everybody from Danish Bears has to just skedaddle. They'll try to get out, but it will be a double kill for Sakata as Ace now getting chased down alongside. The Yule Sector will come through. The Unstable Current as well. Well, but really doesn't do that much. The torrent not there in time, and Ace it will get up the silence. Ace walking in, trying to bait this a little bit. Here we go in July. Boulder Smash comes through. They miss him. Arcane Curse and last word. A lot of damage. Swap coming in. KYXY. The mech will fly. Still silenced up. Is going to be in July. They get off the overgrowth. Ursa in trouble. The enrage. They need to keep him alive. The Boulder Smash. There's the ravage committed. They get the kill. Ursa has buyback ready. They expend a lot now. Telkinesis, Exorcism back up in 42. The Glade's going to work. The Boulder Smash, the Yulsip will keep him alive for now. The Gush coming in along with the Leech Seed. Rolling Boulder, Serpent Wards drop back down. They are back up and everybody from IGV rotate again to get that kill on Noya once more. They will lose KYXY as Hester Joe comes in from the back lines, but he's still trying to get away. Malif is back up in five. Shrine. It's not there for, they just used it. Hester Joe trying to run. In the meantime, they chase down the Rubik. He dies mid lane. Hester Joe will go for the TP. He will make it out at the very least. The dust goes way too late. They still walk up to the high ground. It's like they didn't even notice. The sounds on three coming through. The exorcism popped and I believe Rise, you are dead. They'll try to find dog fights, but that is a pretty good trade. The smoke, the wave of terror onto three. They do not have Ravage, 38 seconds, but the exorcism going, swap in. Ace is in trouble. They've got the Blink Dagger, looking for the Black Hole. Oh it's on to God. four with the Global Silence. They've got to bring down in July. Can they get Sakata as well? Super is in trouble, still silence. They at least get Ace. Do they have the damage with 747? The Spirit Siphon, it, it might be enough. The Boulder Smash, they will lose the Silencer, and now they've got to run on the side of the Radiant. They have the Malthus back up in five. The Silence is there, but it's Sakata again with with the double kill without the earth so they do not have the damage to bring down this death property is too tanky and they will lose a fifth hero in Noya as the leech seed comes through they did everything in their power with that enigma a four-man black hole and they still cannot win the fight unbelievable minimal damage there he has so much tank on him Swap out, Rise is dead, Noya rolls in, but it's too little too late. However, Rise will buy back, coming in Magic Missile. Black Hole is on to three, but the Overgrowth to follow up will cancel. Ravage comes in immediately, Rise cannot get the steal off. The Anchor Smash is there if he goes for it. And meanwhile, Super Shackles, everybody getting low. Magic Missile, and now all of your ults are expended if you are the Radiant side. They will lose two, including S. Joe. Ace will get the Shrine off, the Solar Crest is there, the Spirit Siphon, he is getting dropped. They will lose another on the back end, and now it might as well be 747 on top of it all. He will try with the Hurricane Pike, the Shrine's still going, they're diving in deep, and Cicada just does not care. Rise can do little to no damage, and so too will the Tier 4s. In July's low, he will drop, and uh, 747 will get a double. He also does have buyback now, they will steal the Shackles. Can they get this kill? It's so difficult to swap back. And uh, looks like Sakata's fine. Rise will die again. That is a dieback for him. TP back in. Dog fights again in the back lines. Nature's guys will hit onto the rise. Rubik, he'll get caught. Crypt Swarm and right put down with Spirit Siphon on top of all of it. And again, they just continue to hit the racks over and over and over again. Dog fights getting Hurricane Pikes. He might actually go down. They have the sentry. It's enough to get the kill. But that's at least something. But uh, Glyph will come in. Will they back up? Coming in. Immediate Hex onto Ace. This Jackals. This might be a dieback. They need this kill. The Enrage will come out. He will stay alive. He'll try to turn on in July, but there's the Guardian Greaves to keep him fighting fit. Coming in is KYX. I cannot find Ace. Hester Joe is back in. They want the Mailer Axe, and they should get it with one more auto attack. KYX wise low. Will go down to 747. Ace is somehow still alive. And now trying to do all the damage in the world. 747 is doing his damnedest. And uh, looks like Sakata just trying to run super, walking back in, suiciding just so he could hex up the Ursa. Now Sakata, ghosts are back up, but he might die here. 747 gets the double kill, and they the glyph will come through. Can they get dogfights? And if so, 
Is that gonna be it? They need two more auto attacks. They will grab it. The melee rack's in trouble. Boulder Smash now. Ace coming in. Global sounds to come through. They want KYXY. Forced down to the low ground. One more auto attack. He'll stay alive in July. Not gonna be so lucky. There's that black hole coming in from Messi Joe. He just got the refresher. They grab the kill. Can they get Sakata on top of it? He pops the cheese. The Earth Shock. He's still alive, but he will get dropped in the end. It's a triple kill for 747. And they have not lost to Megas just yet. It's a triple kill and four dead for IG Vitality. And again, they'll drop the ward. This is getting encountered. But Super comes in. They're going to try to find the ward trap. Here comes the BKB from Ace. Super in trouble. The Global Sound is coming out. The Black Hole. It's on to two. They've already dropped the Tide Hunter. The Magnetize coming in. The Telkinesis. They need this kill. And he will use himself for now. He's alive. But the Black Hole coming back in again. Hesse Joe has done his job. KYXY. He did get the swap. But the Magnetize will bring him down. It is all five dead from IG Vitality. And they will get the ranged Rax bottom. But again, that Rax top stays alive. Out. They're trying to fight. As you can see, Ryze got pulled. Magic Missile looks like he should fall. Ace is going to come in. He does have buyback on the Rubik. Will he use it? In July, silence up now. The Magnetize. This is not the best fight. As Hester Joe's BKB is now down. Super coming in. The Hex is up on the Ursa. And he is going to get Ward Trapped. He does have the cheese. The Ravage will come through. Refresher is up. Rubik will buy back, but they've already lost two. No buyback. Hester Joe refreshes himself, trying to get out, looking for a black hole. He'll find it on Sakata. But where's the follow up damage? Now 747 getting run at by in July. And they're going to turn it into three, potentially four, and maybe gain. Danish Bears, they held as well as they could have. But in the end, it is IGB taking the victory.